Hello everybody, this is Chris. Welcome back to part 2 of the uh, simple blog tutorial. On the first video, we set up Laravel and created this master page. So, I'll go ahead and get rid of these. And now, we are going to start on the login. So, I'm just going to create a new folder here and call it Pages. And inside this Pages folder, I'm going to create a new file. Go ahead and save it here and call it login.blade.php. This is going to be a simple login. It's going to be no registration. There's going to be no hashing or anything like that. Uh, there's not even going to be any registration. It's just going to be a simple uh, login. So, first off, we're going to target the, our master page, the so layout master. Next, we're going to go ahead and open our section. So check, so at section and content. We'll just go ahead and end the section also. So end section here. Okay, so now in here, here. So go ahead and open this up. So form open and. We'll point at the login route. Uh, method's going to be post. And we're doing this post method because we're actually using an array. And if you're using more than one uh, argument, you have to uh, put post in there. So, so class for this form is going to be a form horizontal. So form. Not underscore, but horizontal. That's here. So, we got the form open. I'm going to go ahead and move these over so I have these tabbed in here. Here, we're just going to have a simple field set. So, just field set. And We'll just have a deal with an idea of legend here. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we'll have the legend itself, which is just going to say login. We'll get it down below this div. And we're going to have a div with a class of control group. group and inside there we're also going to have a div with the class controls so controls we're just going ahead and uh, return an error if uh, the session has any login errors like if the username is correct incorrect or the password is incorrect and we're going to return that as a uh, error so we'll do that here if session has login errors we're just going to create a span so span uh, we have a class here Say, uh, not that. We're just we're using the uh, bootstrap here. Important, and we'll just say username or password is incorrect. Just go ahead and end our if next. So at end if we'll go into our controls here and we'll just echo out a paragraph tag and just or put our paragraph tag and 
form text. We'll just have this is going to target the email field. No value or no value. And then we're going to have an array with a placeholder. And the placeholder is going to just say email. So you know. Alright, I'm just gonna take this control group here. Actually I won't do that. another control group so control group just figuring out the best way to do this so control group and controls can't type D and inside here we're gonna have the password form so I'm not going to type this out. I'm just copying the paste this from my notes here. No, I'm just going to go ahead and type this out. Could use my notes, but Just call in the password here. It's going to be the password field. And of course, another array. Holding our placeholder. And that is going to be password. Okay. That's the end of that one. And we're going to create another div, a control group. So. We have controls in here also. So dot controls. And here it's just going to be paragraph tag with a form submit button. So form submit. Submit login. That's the name of the button so where will appear on the button will be login array class we're just going to style the button with using bootstrap so let's just call it button button success Okay, now after the field set, we're going to have form close. And that's all. And I'm just I'm going to go ahead and stop it right here and actually no I'll move on we'll do another one let's see which one I want to do here just bear with me for a second we'll go ahead and go into our new post so when we create a post We're gonna have a new uh we're gonna have a new page that will display how you're gonna create your new post. So it'll have uh the title of your blog post and it'll have the body of your blog to blog post. So we'll just go ahead and create that now. Call it new.blade.php. Okay. 
Of course, we're going to target our layout. So at layout master <laughs> master at section content at end section. And let's get to it. So I'm not gonna really talk through this very much. I just want to get this done for y'all as quickly as possible, and I'll go over it afterwards. Again, I'm going to use the control groups. So, the labels here. That's going to be our title form. Title of the label, actually. Go ahead and close that P tag off. Again, we're just going to echo some errors here. So, if there's no title and you try to submit this without a title, it's going to throw an error basically is what we're doing here so and it's just the same thing we did earlier so label label important the title is required, which we'll do in the in level itself, and later when we do the validation. So here. have a title. It's going to be null. And actually, we're not going to do that. We're just going to hit input old. So if you go to view this, it will have the old data in there. So if you had submitted this before, your old uh, title would be in there. So next is the body, so dot control group. Dot controls. And I'm just going to copy and paste this stuff here. This is going to be now body. I need to go ahead and tap that and this. This is going to be body. This is going to be body. Oh, 
all these are going to be body. So body. Just trying to save time here. Body. Body. And our final div, which is actually I goofed here. These are all separate control groups. Paste. Moves over like so. All right, so not now I can deal with a class control group dot controls paragraph tag, and we'll just use our submit button. Call it create post an array. This is just going to be a class, so class button button primary. Okay. the div we're just going to go ahead and just go ahead here and close our form okay. but we need a way to identify the author and post who this author is and so who's going to file this under the author ID that we set up earlier in the route in the uh, schema. So we're going to do this by just having a hidden what's called a hidden a hitting field form field. So we'll just hit form hidden, and we're going to get the author idea of the person that is logged in and creating this post. So we're gonna use the user model or user uh, ID. So this is the user model and the ID of the user. We'll get into that next. So in this video we did went ahead we went ahead and created a new post view and uh, we created the login view so next video we'll continue creating views we have the home page view and we have the a full post how to view the full post so stay tuned for part three